Welcome to the first digital museum of badminton history. Our museum will acquaint you with the history of the development of badminton and will remind you of some of the most memorable victories of our legendary athletes. You will be able to examine rare archival materials of the sports history of badminton, digitalize 3D copies of museum exhibits, documents, unique photos, and videos. In our museum, you can see three-dimensional models of more than 250 real exhibits. The museum consists of five halls of badminton history and icons of the sport. Access is open from all the corners of the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All materials are presented with the support of museums and private collectors worldwide. The exhibits shown in the video are courtesy of the National Badminton Museum, Milton Keynes, England. Let's glance in the most memorable halls and we will begin with the history of badminton prior to 1934, the times before the creation of the International Badminton Federation, the predecessor of the Badminton World Federation. In front of you is a rare artifact, the barrel-type shuttlecock with 14 feathers. It was made in France and used in the All England Championships between 1899 and 1909. The time machine of the Virtual Museum will instantly carry you to the past so you could go through historical moments together with legends of the sport who won many titles and contributed greatly to the development of badminton. In this hall, you can see old battle doors. This equipment is believed to be the predecessor to the modern racket. Battle door and shuttlecock used to be a game played by one or two people. The object of the game was to hit the shuttlecock by oneself or from one person to the other as many times as possible without allowing it to fall to the ground. A modern, innovative approach has been taken in the creation of the museum which unites 3D models and virtual reality with the functionality of typical contemporary web portals. Thanks to several types of graphic optimization, viewing of halls is possible from any computer and at any speed of the Internet. As you would in a real museum, you can choose your own pathway through the halls and exhibitions or resort to the help of a special virtual guide who will show you a selection of the most interesting exhibits. The mission of the museum is to preserve our badminton heritage for future generations and to promote the sport of badminton. From the halls of early badminton history, we will transfer to the halls of the evolution of the equipment used in badminton. The history of the development of badminton allows us to track the evolution of equipment, shuttlecocks, rackets, sportswear, and also the improvement of badminton techniques and methods of sports preparation. Old and new items can be found in this hall. For example, a Hazel's Streamline Blue Star Badminton Racket. Hazels were known for making good quality rackets in the 1930s and they produced rackets for tennis, badminton and squash. This design was patented in 1937. However, it was not a popular choice among badminton players and soon went out of fashion. Few of the badminton rackets have survived and are of great value. The invaluable collection of exhibits allows us to track the sports history of many heroes such as the unsurpassed Rudy Hartono. A former Indonesian badminton star who won the men's singles titles at the prestigious All England Championship trophy eight times and at the World Championship in 1980 on his only attempt at this title. Visitors will find the Yonex B9-1000 Slim Stainless Badminton Racket in the museum. This type of racket was used by the legendary player. Let's glance in the hall of modern badminton history and remember the development and the heroes of this popular, spectacular sport. Since 1992, badminton has been an Olympic sport. In the hall of modern badminton history, it is possible to see the shoe with the autograph of a great Chinese player, Lin Dan, two-time Olympic champion, five-time world champion, and five-time All-England champion. He is the first men's single player to retain the Olympic gold medal by winning in 2008 and defending his title in 2012. 
Our museum is not only a journey to the past, it is also directed to the future. After all, sport is infinite. We will look forward to new records and new heroes. We believe that there will be more and more trophies in our halls of glory because the list of sports stars has no last page. And the virtual museum can be filled with any quantity of exhibits, and they can be provided from the most different sources, starting from regional badminton sports schools and personal archives of athletes. For the first time, maybe small, modest halls with badminton sports history of a small town can appear in this museum. Each physical education teacher in any corner of the world will be able to conduct the first lesson on the history of the development of badminton with his students in the halls of our museum. All the necessary conditions are ready for this.